Welcome back. It's time for another unboxing. And today we got some more Glios figures to go over. Things that I've been getting in the mail for the past few weeks. And at the end here, we've got the brand new Wave 94 Onel Designs drop that just came out just a week or two ago. Hopefully this comes out pretty quickly, but I'm very excited. I got a lot of stuff in here. So some really cool figures to look at. So get ready and let's get into some unboxings. Especially this little dude, very excited to show you guys this one. Something I've been looking for for quite a while. But before we do, make sure to support the channel, subscribe and leave a like, share the video around the Glios community. I really appreciate it. If you enjoy unboxings or any type of openings, we're doing all sorts of stuff on the channels from Glios over to the card side of things with like Force of Will, Pokemon, you name it. We got some Gundam stuff. We got some all types of nerdy things that I'm into currently. So if you enjoy that kind of stuff, Come on over, subscribe, and enjoy the videos. All right, first things first, let's open up this box. This is just a quick little lot that I found on eBay. Looked to be pretty cool and worth the price, so I picked it up. Let's get everything out here. Oh, look at these baggies of Glios. Lots and lots of parts, holy cow. This is a big Battle Tribes lot. Just absolutely a massive amount of different figures you can see here looks like his arm popped off on this one but he's super cool looking i love the head on that guy too i've actually i don't have one of the battle tribes that has this head and i love this translucent like glitter uh little red and with that metallic blue looks really sharp swip swap some pieces on these guys it looks like too because like some of the clear parts go with other clear guys as well you can see like mr cyclops man here looks pretty dope he's got some long freaking arms they put some extensions on that boy Look at that mishmash hosh podge. Oh man, look at these wings. Oh, those are some nice wings. We can add those to our guy here really quick. Let's just pop those on. Maybe we can find his arm. Found a arm, but this is actually the left arm, but whatever for just the purposes of having him kind of complete. We'll slap that on there. Oh, he's actually got both hands backwards. Okay, so both hands are backwards, but whatever, you get it, you get it. He looks dope with those awesome looking wings man that's really sharp a bunch of different like accessories come with these guys i don't even know what that is that's wild some different feet even going on with these guys compared to like the boots but you can have more of like a creature effect with these awesome looking axe we've got what is this a head oh what i haven't seen that head before that's a weird one kind of like a weird ghost specter caped figure dude i guess interesting an extra body another extra body and another extra body lots of different heads kind of can see them kind of can't this is like a zombified like conan head almost if you can kind of tell he's kind of got like a zombie effect going on like kind of more of a fish man here even got some like fish man arms couple sets of these awesome looking dinosaur head that one's pretty slick couple tentacle arms that's pretty cool too that's an interesting one another gill man this one's actually got some more painted so it looks like they had a painted version and an unpainted version in these sets so that's kind of cool it gives you some extra pieces oh yep here it is here's the painted version of the zombie conan now you can see him a little bit better that's hilarious looking <laughs> That's so derpy. There's a comparison right there between a painted and an unpainted head. Another like creature alien dude or something. I don't know. It's almost like Swamp Thing-esque. All right, we got a nice Skeletor head that's painted up. Kind of cool looking. I like that one. A dope looking sword. Again, with that metallic blue, it looks really sharp. And then some of my favorite heads out of this lot. I mean, look at that bat guy. He looks awesome. Love the look of that. And then we got like the octopus Cthulhu guy, which <laughs> a little thin for like like Cthulhu but he does look sharp on these battle tribe guys I will admit really cool looking so that's one baggie then over here we got this guy now I've seen these guys floating around I've never really wanted to get one of these guys per se just not my style it's kind of like the sumo wrestler alligator man uh but he just came with a lot so I was like all right well he's in there he's in there you know that's cool I forget his name I'll have to like put his name up on screen or something but that's what he looks like he's kind of interesting he's got some nice hands I utilize these hands somewhere, honestly. That's pretty sweet. And then we got a bunch of like clear blue and blue guys. I mean, you can see here, here's like the Conan ice version, I guess. You can see like the red with the red pants and the blue. He kind of swip swapped whoever had these. It's changed out the parts quite a bit, but there's like the blue haired Conan. He's even got his like nice light blue Conan breastplate coat cloak thingy which is neat here's one more figure they combined and this one actually has a cape which is dope he's kind of like the 
I don't know, Swamp Thing-esque type guy with that blue. Looks sharp with that frosted white into translucent into that highlighted metallic blue. Looks really good. And it's got a cape, which you got to get the capes when you find guys with Glyos capes. It's, uh, I don't know, people love getting them. So another clear chest piece. Mace weaponry, awesome looking. More weaponry with the axes. Lots of cool uses with these shields too. I love these shields. They look really sharp on like a lot of different figures. Double up on the dino head. Double up on like the dino beast guy. He's always a cool one. Feet, fate, sword, whatever the hell this thing is. Squid arm, a nice little claw arm, more hands, some more hands, another pair of hands, some kind of cool looking bigger fist gauntlet thing, that's cool. Double up on some more heads, the ogre man, and the cyclops, classic. And a couple two extras of these translucent Conan and whatever Black Panther-esque superhero mask dude, I don't know his thing, but... These guys look sweet. A pretty awesome lot to say the least. Just so many accessories and extra parts and I'm excited to combine these together with some other things I have some plans for, but just such a nice assortment for the price I couldn't pass it up. Now we can open up this tiny little box and I am super, super excited to open this thing up. Uh, this is something that I've been wanting to track down for a while for the Glios and I was patient and something finally came through for me. So let's get this thing out. In here, I have a really cool Glios figure that these guys are hard to find, man. You, you can't find these guys anywhere. Uh, and I forget the name. Let me see if I can say it. It's Stonem. Well, I don't forget the name. Stonem is the game, the Resin Glios figures from 2021. These figures look so freaking cool. And I've been waiting and eyeing to find one of these guys to add to my collection. And I've messaged the creator of these. I'll just put the name down here of who creates them and give you a link to his store and stuff. Uh, but he's a really nice guy. I've been following for a while and man, uh, some of my other glass friends have these stonums. He had a drop back in December, sold out very quickly. And oh man, I'm so bummed that I uh, got into Glyos a little bit too late because these guys are just super cool. But he finally got a figure that was just uh, ready to go and he sold it to me, thank goodness, because I had messaged him quite a while ago. Here's all the information too. Uh, Boglen Creations, is that how you say it? Bog Boglen? Boglen Creations, super, super dope. Stonums and Glyos.com. Oh. It's glass.com. That's funny. This is uh, not like one of those super like um, it's not like from the official production. This is like the off production they did test with and like the silver on this guy will open them up in a second is actually done with like some Sharpies, which is kind of funny, but I didn't care. As long as I got one of these full figures, I was happy. But before we open them up, there's one more dude in here. Let's pull him out. We got a little grind, which is kind of like the Cray Booth thing for the Stonem guys. And this is just like your little plastic chunk of resin that looks super cool. So let's get him out first, since that's kind of like the fun little extra fi figure. And right away, I just like drop them. Thank goodness I have carpet because I don't want to break these guys. There are already is a little bit of damage on some of them because the casts of these weren't perfect. These were kind of like just the scraps remaining from past productions that he was just selling to some people. So this is one of the little grinds. He's very cool. I love his look and it actually does kind of match the color that I got of the stonum. So it works out perfectly. But as you can see, it's not perfect. The painting's not perfect. Some of it has some bubble poppage from the resin casting and whatnot. So these were the ones that weren't, you know, put into the production on the store to be bought right away. And he just kind of had a bunch of them that he was getting ready to sell and get rid of. So super, super excited I got this guy though. He's got this whole description and everything. I didn't even know about the little grinds till he told me about them. He's like, hey, I've got one of those too. So do you want them? And I want to open this very carefully. I don't even want to like ruin the packaging. The packaging, this is like one of those rare Glyos guys, I, I feel like, because he didn't make a ton of them and they all sold out very quickly. So, oh, I can't wait to put this guy together. He's so neat. There's a really cool feature about the Stonem guys that just is so dope. So the only thing is this isn't fully, fully complete. It is missing a couple features that will uh, help with connecting it to everything. So I actually got to get like some of my other parts to actually have this guy work correctly. Okay, there we go. Kind of something sort of, he's a little derpy, but I got to look through more of my parts and try to find some better pieces for him. But there you go, <laughs> you gotta get some connector pieces. He looks sweet. I really like these guys, they're so cool. This is the best part about them, is uh, their little creative uh, ingenuity behind them. Check this out. 
Oh, little glowy eyes. Oh my gosh, look at that. So you shine it through, get some light from the back, get the eyes glowing on these dudes. They look so sick like that. Arms and fists are just huge. They look sweet like that. They got these little wristbands on them. The rock formation on the back looks really sick. And I just love how he did this thing with the resin and the eyes. It reminds me of like the classic uh, Jawas from the old Kenner toys. I loved how those looked back in the day. So this is very like reminiscent of that. His feet, I'll probably have to paint his feet like the color red or something. Might have to do a repaint on him a little bit, but obviously this is how he looks. A lot of the time he'll put like a little like skirt on him or something around to cover up the bottom half because there's not like a uh, actual mold piece for the rock and bottom half. It's just these parts. So you do got to make sure he has some extra available parts ready so you can build like a nice looking figure. But he looks freaking sick and I'm just so happy I found him. Ah, I've been waiting so long to pick one of these up and they're just not around and anybody who has them is like hanging on very tightly to them. So very cool find to actually get one and i got it straight from the guy himself so go support him check out his site look for more drops in the future here i know he's working on other projects at the moment but he said he will be doing them again in the future at some point so i am looking forward to that i'm not going to miss another drop of these guys they're just way too cool all right but now we can move on to the onel wave 94 drop very excited for these some really cool stuff in this one all right let's get these figures out they're all wrapped up again oh, as well it's got my receipt in there got the newspaper the classic newspaper oh my goodness so much newspaper but so many goodies first things first all the extra little pieces i got this is kind of the color scheme you got going you got this like like nice grayish blue, this kind of darker brownish red, a dark, dark, dark brown, like a coffee brown, more of the red. And then we got this translucent orange, just of all the extra pieces. You never know when these will come in handy. I.e. I just do some of them right now for the stonum, so that was really nice. And I found the stowaway. Look at that. It's a Synchroborg stowaway in that nice translucent orange. Let's pop them out. I'm very glad that I got the actual like body and heads. These are so sick looking. Look at that guy, the nice stowaway. This is extra, this is extra that came with the order. So that is really sweet. The extra little like headpiece. never got this head very much, but you know, whatever. Uh, we got the visor one where you can kind of flip that down. He can be all cool looking. And then we got this other kind of weird mask one. He looks like he's wearing like a hockey mask or something like a goalie mask, which is always funny. But that is super cool that I got the body one because I can just, I can put so many cool highlighted stuff on this body. It'll look really sick. Very happy with this stowaway. Now, Wave 94 is the 15th anniversary for Onel Design. Super cool. So they did their very own special fade-in for the 15th anniversary. I got two of them here. It's this gold and silver. They look really sharp. Let's open one of them up. One I'm going to keep sealed. All right, let's get this boy out. Check that out. 15th anniversary. Oh my gosh, they've been doing it for so long. These guys need to warm up a little bit more, it looks like. Oh yeah, a little stiff. Little stiff. Dang, he looks really sick though. Look at that boy. Man, 15 years. Congratulations, oh no. Man, you, get, you're keep, you keep getting new fans. You got me. You hooked me, man. Now I'm out here getting huge orders from you too. So really cool to be able to celebrate the 15th anniversary of O'Neill with this commemorative 15 year piece of Faden. Looks really sharp. Let's just go through the rest of the Fadens we got. So we also got this nice blue and gray Faden. This kind of like baby blue, grayish blue. Very cool looking though. I like its style. There he is. Ooh, he is sharp. I really like him. I, I don't remember the actual name. So any of these names I'm forgetting, I'm going to look up and you guys will be able to see the names below of the the official names of them but you know i just go by the color scheme a lot of the time but really cool and it did come with his classic neckerchief which i actually prefer with those so i'm going to throw it on all right there you go that's it with it on it looks really sick again another really cool addition to the Faden collection i'm not huge on collecting all these guys but they are dope to pick up when new drops come out and they look sweet so this one's pretty dope but i only got one of him I don't need to go too crazy on the Fadens. I'll get out of control with those guys. But I did get one more of the Fadens, and I got this one mainly for customizing. It's this like dark uh, coffee, like brown, very, very dark brown. But I figured this one would be good for doing some customization work. It's got that nice dark color, and I think uh, I think I can do some work with it. So that's the reason I got it 
for this guy for testing out some customization stuff. Uh, I think it'll look really nice. Give me some suggestions for uh, paint colors or what to do with them because I need some uh, suggestions on those guys. Come on, give them down below in the comments. I forgot, I got one more Faden, but he is the decked out Faden with all the extra armor and cool gear and stuff. So let's open him up, he looks really sweet. So you can build them back up and just make the regular Faden. So you get like the basic legs and the basic hands that come with them. Extra little padding parts for like legs and whatnot. Some switch pins, and then of course you got his little scarf thing. But look how cool he is, man. He's got that awesome looking orange head i love the dark brown and orange color choices of this one he's beefed out with all this extra armor the sash and he's got these huge giant like legs beefy legs and he's even got like this it comes from the sinkerborg armor i believe but it comes as like a little kind of cape thing and it looks really really freaking dope i gotta utilize this part on some of my other fadens because i think that looks excellent but he just looks really sick I love the beefier ones like this too. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of like skinny ones unless it's like the skeletons. Uh, but these beefy armored ones look really, really dope. Check that guy out, man. I love that orange on the head. So cool looking. Oh my gosh, I just have so many extra pieces here now. And we're not even done. We've got one of the newer head figure feature pieces. Uh, forget his name too, but he is pretty cool. I didn't like the old mustard look, color look of the last wave. He was actually the in featured in that one, but I wasn't a huge fan of like the mustard take on it. So this one was that dark brown and that kind of really nice red. So I got this one and because I am a fan of the face. The face looks really cool. He comes with a lot of extra pieces, which is nice. An extra little like belt part and a little scarf thing. A couple extra little building blocks for arms and legs and etc. And then he comes with two very dope looking heads. I'm a huge fan of this one. I've gotten him on a couple figures now. But this color choice looks really sharp with those eyes. And then we got this guy. He's kind of more the skull monster brainy head dude. That's how I would describe him, I guess. But he's really cool as well and here is the figure you can see it's very similar to that Faden we just looked at as far as like bulkiness purposes he's got a little bit different of the shoulder pads uh and the arm pads actually too quite a bit different on a few of these things and i love how he did the leg pieces here uh, again a little different just the addition of a couple extra lines and that little like bulbous knee joint thing not actually a joint it just uh moves straight but you know, it's really cool. And I just love this face. Such a cool looking face. Come on. That looks so sick. Here's the back. Again, bulky guy, bulky robot. I'm down. He looks really good. He's going to look really sharp in some lighting pictures too. I, I love it. Here's already looking like really good in that like orange light that's coming off the side of the screen here. Then we got one of our first Synchroborg monstrosities. This one's really dope because as you just saw, it does have an awesome looking cape. A bunch of accessories, just the regular Sinkerborg accessories. So I'm not going to go through them all again in this video because you've already seen most of them. And la my last video of the Onel Wave uh, 93 goes through them a bit more too. So we're going to avoid repeating all of that. You can just see there's all the axes and all the extra like leg pieces. But let's get the main build out because I think they did a really nice job with them. All right, there he is. Now this guy is so unique. He's got such a different weird hodgepodge of parts that are being utilized here including the legs you can see each one's just a little bit different these parts right here if you can look at this joint it's like kind of curved in it's very interesting and this one's just pretty much the same but a little bit different so a lot of uniqueness on each and every joint and part again with the side of the cannon there's this kind of little part right here that kind of can l shape and so it can look like he's kind of shooting that thing but a really dope one I love the armor on this and I love the inclusion of that cape. That cape inclusion just sells him completely. And even though it's on the head that I'm not preferable to, which I may still switch it, it actually fits really nicely with this one, I think. And that cape especially just kind of brings the whole thing together. I love the look of that cape with these Synchroborgs. Uh, really good, really, really good. Big fan of this one. I almost didn't get this one. And I ended up grabbing it last minute, adding it to the cart. So I'm glad I did because really, really good figure. 
and I guess I'll do a, a head swap really quick. Let's just take a look. There you go. There's a little bit of a head swap for you. And I don't know, I think that bulkier head actually works better. <laughs> Surprisingly, I like this head a lot, but I think the other one works better on this one. Yeah, this guy just has some like epic stances to him. I can just see him on the shelf now looking awesome in BA. All right, now we got the super cool white and translucent orange Sinkerborg. I got two of these guys because I love that translucency, but you can check it out here. All the same parts, kind of, you know, just all the same cool equipment. So let's crack open one of these bad boys. He is going to look sick. Man, all the extra parts actually come individually wrapped in this one, which is cr pretty crazy. But I love this black and orange. Really cool looking on all the equipment, all the heads and stuff too. You can't see them super well in these, but I'm going to leave them in here for now. But you can see that head. Really cool. Really cool. And there's our guy. Look at how neat that looks with that white and orange. Such a unique color choice. And those highlights of black are really nice too. I would love to see one with just the black and orange, but this is just super nice. Look at that. Really, really cool. I love the design of this one with the color choices. Really sharp on those black fingertips too. That's something I would do if I was doing custom work, would give them all black fingertips and whatnot. But really good one. A really, really good one. And I'm very glad I got two of these because definitely want to do some building with these guys as well. Such a cool one. Such a cool wave. Uh, we still got one more thing, but this guy is really cool. And again, I'm just so happy. Where's, where's my extra little stowaway guy? I mean, I, this is the color of the stowaway. So it's going to be really cool to try to find some extra pieces to slap onto him with that dark brown, I think. Ooh, that's going to look nice. But just with this, you can see. These Synchroborgs are so cool. They're some of my new favorites now are these Synchroborgs. Really nice figures. All right, and my camera's dying uh, just in the nick of time because we've got one more thing to go over and you know I had to get my Cray Boots. I got two of these guys. Let's pop open one of them and let's check him out. Now he's got like all the different tones, not all of them, but most of them. We got the orange, the black, the dark, gray, brownish colors. It looks really sharp. A nice looking Cray Booth, super cool. And I believe these are sold out now. They were actually up for a lot longer. I think he produced more for this whole wave. So things didn't sell out within like a half hour like they did <laughs> the last wave. So that was pretty cool. Uh, of course, I still got mine in on time just in case because I didn't want to miss out on the opportunity to snag one of these guys again. So a really sharp looking gray booth. As you can see, he'll join the collection of my many others. Really cool. I love that that orange highlights on these brown ones, man. They look really cool. I think I said cool a lot in this video. Someone should uh, keep a tally or something. But there you go. There's another Glios mail day. All the figures up here. The Stonem was such a highlight for me. I can't believe I finally got my hands on them with the nice packaging and everything. Keeping that, of course, not throwing that away. And wow, Wave 94, 15 years of O'Neill Designs. Ah, oh, so cool. Let's get a closer look at these guys so I can go through it really quickly. Bam, there you go. O'Neill Designs Wave 94. Very dope, very cool one. And it's just very awesome that we're celebrating the 15th anniversary of O'Neill Designs. And so make sure to go support them. Go check out the shop. Go see what's left from the new wave. And uh, yeah, make sure to get some of these dudes because they are going. I just noticed today too while filming that some stuff is sold out. Uh, so you're going to want to go grab some stuff before they're completely gone and we're on to the next wave. So what a successful wave, though. What a really cool one. And it was so cool to be a part of the 15 years that O'Neill is celebrating. So congratulations, O'Neill, again. And yeah, this thing was a, a great little wave, man. So many options, so much variety. There you go, another Glios review out the door. I appreciate it if you stayed all the way through the video to this long. So just a reminder, make sure to leave a like on the video and share this around the Glios community so other people can subscribe and see what kind of cool stuff we got going on over here on the Glio side of the channel. Again, all the links below to all the creators and all the Glio stores are in the description and I'll probably pin a comment down below as well. So make sure to go check out O'Neill, Boglin Creations and even the Battle Tribe guys. Go check those guys out and support their stuff because they deserve it. But I appreciate you all sticking through to the end and make sure to stay tuned for more content coming up. We will see you guys in the next video.